learn the structure of purine and pyrimidine bases. Why should we learn the structure? Because it is going to help you in the understanding of metabolism of these molecules. Shall we begin? First of all, what is a nucleotide? Nucleotide is made up of phosphate, sugar and base. Okay, you can remember BSP, base, sugar, phosphate. Base is nitrogenous base. Okay, nucleoside is base and sugar. Nucleic acids are polynucleotides. Okay, let us see the bases. The bases are of two types, purines and pyrimidine. Purine, the name is small but the ring is big. You can see the nine membered ring. Purine bases are adenine and guanine. Adenine is six amino purine. Okay, guanine is two amino, six oxo or six keto purine. Okay, deamination of adenine. See, in the sixth carbon amino group is there. Instead of there, you are putting keto group. Okay, oxidative deamination of adenine produces hypoxanthine. In the same way, deamination of guanine. See this deamination of guanine will produce xanthine. Okay, or else you can also think in this way: oxidation of hypoxanthine will produce xanthine. Okay, what is xanthine? Two six dioxopurine. Oxidation of xanthine produces uric acid, which is nothing but 2,6,8 trioxopurine. Okay, remember this. Pyrimidine, the name is big, but the ring is small, just six membered ring. Okay, uracil is 2 and 4 dioxopyrimidine. Okay, thymine is nothing but. 5-methyl uracil. If you put a methyl group in the fifth position of uracil, you get thymine. Cytosine is 2-oxo-4-amino pyrimidine. Or else, you can also think in this way. Deamination of cytosine produces uracil. Okay. We have discussed about this in nucleic acids video. Deamination of cytosine, methylation of uracil. We have discussed this.